vaivén is Lulu de Lacre. Y yo soy la autora ilustradora de Veo Veo. I see you. I'm the author illustrator of Veo Veo. I see you. A book that is a game. An I spy game and the story of young Marisol, who in an outing with Mami and her brother Pepito, learns the true meaning of the word essential and who is essential in her community and life. So first I'm going to read you a few pages of the book and then because I also did the pictures I'm going to share with you how is it that I draw Marisol and who knows what happened next. When I draw characters sometimes they take a life of their own. Mami is the best cook at Rosita's Cafe. Was the restaurant closed? A bad virus too easy to catch in small crowded places was going around. The smell of onions and peppers fried in garlic oil wafts through the house. Mommy, do other people have work? Sí, Marisol, los muy necesarios. The essential ones? What makes them so important? Cuando trabajan, tenemos luz, agua, comida. Wow! Because of the work, we have power, water, food? I gaze out the window as Mami packs her arroz con pollo for cousin Johnny and tía Olga's almuerzo. And I know just the game for Pepito, Mami, and me to play. Veo, veo. ¿Qué ves, Marisol? I spy a trash collector. He has work. Un basurero. Trabajo muy necesario. Essential work. Those beans were full. Marisol, Pepito, and Mami keep playing veo veo while they run their errands. And they spy Nurse Marco, food workers Vanessa and Victor, the bus driver, firefighters, landscaper Don Tomás, the pharmacist and others until they get to Tia Olga's and Uncle Johnny's house to deliver their food and medicine. They stop by the food pantry on their way back home. Back at the house, we play no more. Now I see what I had not before. What can I do to show what I know is true? <gasps> I have an idea. Pepito helps me. He finds pretty pictures in all magazines which I cut out for all to see. When I'm done, we hold mommy by the hands and together go outside to wander at the windows. People stop and stare, surprised by my sign. Look what Marisol did on the windows for all to see. And now I'm going to share with you how is it that I drew Marisol. We are at my drawing table where I have the first sketches I did of Marisol. For those of you who like to draw, some stories start by simply doing sketches. And you draw your character in many positions and you draw your character over and over again. And sometimes your character is unfinished and sometimes it's not perfect and you erase. But in the end, that character will tell you what the story is about. Marisol came out to be curious, eager to learn about her community, playful, and one little girl with a big heart. I drew her with bangs, curly hair, purple vest and pants, eyeglasses to see the world better. And what, Marisol? She's making me erase her smile. But why? Upset? Why are you upset? Marisol, ¿qué? ¿Qué dices? You say I must add the names of the essential workers in your community? Let's do it. So, in my copy of the book and with a white marker, I write the names of each essential worker Marisol encountered. Wait, what? You say there is one more person essential in your life? And that is... <gasps> Mommy! Be a co-author with me. Write the names of the essential workers Marisol met running errands on your own copy of Veo Veo I See You. 
or go to my website and download a free activity kit to help you honor the essential workers in your school or home community. Spread your love, just like Marisol. Gracias, Simon Kids viewers. Gracias for reading with me, for learning about how is it that I sketch and created Marisol, and for learning how you too can become a co-author along with me by finishing Marisol's collage within the pages of the book or in that activity kit I told you about. Thank you.